Hey guys, good afternoon. It's RG here from RG Studio. I'm like, what was that? <laughs> you have to see this. Can I turn the camera around no. so they can see you? <laughs> so anyway, sorry for the wonky start, but I was, you know, doing my thing and then Miss G throws her apple up in the air and then lands and anyway but welcome to rg studio 360 Hello. guys uh happy thursday just crazy busy here at the studio never a dull moment but we're super excited because we're getting closer and closer and closer to christmas so it's going to be fun to be able to celebrate with all our family and our friends and i wish you guys all a very merry christmas now this is our last live for the week a couple of things that y'all should know is the rest and remaining of our sugar stock will be in tomorrow. So for those of you who had ordered uh, some of those assorted packs that were missing a couple of colors that are still kind of on hold until they arrive, they arrive tomorrow. As soon as they arrive, Yay. we will collate Woo! those uh, sets and we will ship them out to you uh, before the weekend So or by the weekend. So super excited so that you can have those colors that were missing, which was our um, sour guava. Uh -huh. And rich. And rich honey. Or honey, sorry. Rich honey. So rich honey and sour guava were the ones that were missing. Tangerine was also missing, but we um, we also got that as well already today. So tomorrow the additional two colors arrive and uh, they will all be going out. And all of our sugar drops and sugar stock, uh, I'm sorry, our sugar drops and sugar cubes will arrive next week and they will all be shipping out as well. So super exciting stuff here. Never a dull moment in the Never. studio. Uh, but we're so excited that you guys are here by our side, have seen us through this crazy of a year. Um, and we're getting closer and closer and closer to finalizing all those details. So we do have someone, I think, I believe Donna Blatt. She's asking about the craft toast. The craft totes will not arrive probably until next week Some at some point. Those are not have arrived yet. Now, those are coming from overseas. Uh, those are taking just a, you know, they're going to get here as soon as they get to, they get to the, sh the ship docks and then hopefully we'll get those. So ideally, they should be here the last week of December, uh, early week or first week of January, give or take, depending on... Once we get word, hey, they're coming. But we will let you guys know. But we will. I can't wait to get it. By the I way, know. I can't. I haven't even shown it, but I can't wait to get my own. Uh, so, so those are absolutely coming. But today, I wanted to play with something super crazy different, super fun. I got a couple new tools that I want to test out and play out with you guys. Now, I hadn't used them before until today, um, and it's one of those moments like I'm working, 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 and all of a sudden, Gabby's like, "Um, you're gonna go live in ten minutes," and it's like, <laughs> "Oh, well, let me just grab a few things and hope." Hope that when we bring them to life it all comes to life beautifully I'm gonna introduce to you a set that we haven't actually used it did launch in October but I've not used it and so I don't think that I'm gonna use it to its entirety today well I know I'm not because of course I've got a lot going on but but I definitely wanted to introduce it to you because it's super gorgeous and I haven't even touched it I haven't even you know stamped with it so we're going to stamp with it a little bit today here as well as i'm going to use uh the a scoreboard and a super cool fun tool that i've been wanting to play with but i hadn't had the opportunity to um and that is the envelope maker i know many of you have probably already used it but you know as again this whole series of our, our month showcase was designed to talk about gift ideas and how to create your packaging and how to create your yummy things so i'm going to play with a variety of, di of different things now also guys this is your last call for our workshop or our party or our events that we're doing with Ms. Janet Dahl. So if you missed my video on the RG Signature page, I'm trying to help Ms. Janet achieve this amazing goal that she has for the month of December. And I believe that together we can help her achieve that goal. Uh, you guys know I use the Stamparatus here in my demos and in my videos. And I also use the paper trimmer quite a bit. So today I'm gonna be using a couple of those just so that you can see some of those pieces. We do have an exclusive party with her that we're going to donate all of the hostess rewards for so that we can help her achieve that goal in the month of December. I really believe that we can. Um, and together we rise. So uh, basically, if you want a stamp apparatus, if you want anything else that she offers through her Stampin' Up! website, you're more than welcome to jump in on that. Uh, and 
Again, any uh, and all of the hostess rewards will be raffled off or given away to all of those that buy. Um, they'll also be receiving a copy of the card that I created during that live, uh, just as a special thank you for helping me support my dear friend, Miss Janet Dahl. Um, so I'm sure if she jumps on board, she'll add the link to the party and all the yummy little details so that as you go shopping on her site, you can enter that code for this workshop and again all those orders together will achieve certain rewards that will allow her uh, or allow us to give them all away to uh, and between or, or through the people that bought so good luck and thanks for helping me support my dear friend Janet uh, and are we ready? Yes and she Janet all is on here. She Yay! Thank thanks Miss Janet. Alright so again she'll give you all the yummy details of that. Uh, and here we've got the scoreboard now uh, it's called the envelope punch board I'm telling you guys it was gifted to me um, a little bit ago and I just opened it out of the packaging today like seconds ago literally um, so if you kind of follow the directions super 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 easy to use I'm gonna be creating gift card holders uh, because I want to create something different something tiny something small again we've got those last minute ideas and I'm not a gift card kind of guy for like people that I absolutely love and adore but when it's sometimes you don't root someone you don't really know then I can totally see how a gift card can just brighten somebody's day or it could be a just because you know it doesn't have to be a specific here's your Christmas present or here's your birthday present or here's your whatever present but it could just be a you know just because you made my day present um, so obviously this particular idea as simplistic as it's going to be will allow you to take it far beyond just the holidays into an everyday hopefully everyday vibe um, so what I've got here again, I've got the envelope punch board by we are memory keepers. I believe if I'm not mistaken, I heard you can also find it, uh, through, uh, at, uh, Tuesday morning, um, is where I think, uh, it's available currently. And again, if you'll notice it has the instructions, I know some of you guys are experts, but maybe some of you are not, and I'm giving you a complete tutorial. So I lets you know here and of course it's got our rg studio blue which i absolutely love so that's my new um so i'll let you know it lets you know here if you want to create a, a gift card size it's two by three and a half inches so you'll need to start with a paper size of five and a half five by five and your score line will start at two um, so just that's the part that you kind of need to watch out for the score line starts at two so what that means is I've got my five and a five by five piece of cardstock. Now this is sweet cane. Our cardstock's a little bit thicker than most out there. So maybe the punch might struggle, I think, um, but we're about to find out. Um, it tells me here that the score line is two, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it to two. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna punch and that's gonna create that little notch. Now, you've got a score line here. So once you've created that first punch, um, it's so much easier, I think, that if you start where you can actually visibly see that score line, which is down here. So start at the bottom and work your way up. Or you can start here. There's got a little bit of a flat wall that it'll help you find that score line. So we will create, create our first score line. Now you forget about that number. Don't look at that number anymore. You just needed it to start the process. Moving forward, we're going to continue to line up to your score line. There's a little indicator that says score guide. I'm basically going to bring that in to, there's a little notch here, to my original score line. I'm going to punch again. And again, I'm going to bring in, follow that score line all the way up. And you're going to do that to every single side. Uh, sorry if you've already been playing with this too for like ever, but like it's new to me. So, uh, just like I needed a little bit of instruction, some of y'all out there might need instruction as well. Don't be greedy, guys. <laughs> yes, I do know that we have several i mean some of them that have shared that they do have it and they love it it's easy to use to make super easy happy. to use um and again it's a really good 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 tool to have so i've created my punches all the way around and now i've got the perfect 
envelope for my gift card. So it's gonna fit a gift card. Now on the other side of that, I'm just going to come in and round those corners. It also will help the size fit perfectly because especially in this case, being such a small envelope, um, it's a very tight squeeze. And I'm noticing you're not struggling on how- No, I'm not struggling with our cardstock, okay. so good point. Ooh, Miss G's not sleeping today. No, She's like, I'm, mm, I'm paying attention. <laughs> All right. Um, so again, basically I wanna create several of these just to make sure you know, sometimes you just need like that little Starbucks gift card mm -hmm. on hand or yeah. like teachers gift. Like we, um, you know, we gave our, the teachers like some of those homemade cookies that we made with the, the Disney uh, cookies. But this would have been a good to have yesterday. Mm -hmm. when and, we, you know, we have someone here that's it's good idea that's a great gift to give like to our hairstylist or yeah. our nail tech. Yeah, super or easy, on the go, like have them in your purse, have them in your man bag, if you're me, um, mm -hmm. and this is ready to go. So super adorable, and it could just be a just because, a thank you, a random, you know, whatnot. Anyway, so now I'm going to come back and I'm gonna use my bigger scoreboard again. Huge thanks to We Are for the gifties on uh, the product. I believe they mentioned you can also find these right now at Tuesday morning, Tuesday morning. Um, and so I've got a strip of a rich cherry uh, because, of course, this is going to be a little bit more holiday themed. And I'm just going to bring in my envelope. And so all I want to do is I want to come in right off the edge. just so that I don't get too technical, you know, with the measurements, because you're, I'm just really creating a belly band. Uh, and I wanna make sure that it fits perfectly around my envelope. So now that I've got that, I'll just snip off some of that. I'm not too particular, because it's gonna, I'm gonna come back with a little bit of ribbon and the whole jazz, you know what I mean? So super cute little belly band. So I don't even have to seal the envelope because ultimately I want them to open it and be surprised and be like, ooh, ah, yay, pretty. Um, all right, so because I'm gonna create three of these all at once, I'm just killing you know, multiple birds with one stone just to have them on hand. It's a nice little treat also for the neighbors, I think. Like if you're, like what I like to give my neighbors is usually we give them either a box of chocolates from Seas Candies, which are my favorite, uh, and um, and or some some sort of cookies as well as a Christmas card and oftentimes a gift card to a restaurant so they can go have dinner as a family. Mm -hmm. like and with that, I was just thinking it's even good to have them handy and maybe you want to do an act of kindness and just give it to a random person that you see out there too. And say, yeah, I just care. random like, hey, can you give this to the person in the drive through That's kind of cute too, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So um, we already know the size. I'm gonna bring my Stampin' Up. It does have a side uh, arm, uh, but let's not talk about that right now. And it's got two. <laughs> um, it's got a cutting blade and a score blade. Now the way that this was designed, it was designed for the score blade to go all the way to the top so it's not in your way as you're cutting. Um, and you can also replace the grid um, if you need it, not need it, clean it, wind it, whatnot. Um, so in case you get a little, it gets too dirty, you can always switch to, switch it to the other side and it just helps protect your blade a little bit more. They obviously have the replacement blades. Again, you can get this through my girl, Miss Janet doll, um, added to the party. Um, it does have a locking mechanism, so this doesn't open, so you can unlock that. Um, and the reason why I say I don't want to talk about my side handle is because mine fell and it broke. Um, I had it open. I leave it open in my craft room and then and there's also got some storage at the bottom FYI uh, So that you can add extra blades, maybe a crease tool, whatever you like, maybe hide some money there Whatever you like oh, Wow. Okay. Yeah um, So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come in here and I'm going to trim now and now we know that this particular one is two by three and a half so I'm going to come in just a little bit smaller here. 
That's my score blade, super fun, and a little bit smaller over here as well, because ultimately what I want to do is I want to bring in that piece right inside. Like I want it to showcase, like I think it's cute, you have the opportunity to, I'm gonna bring more scrappies here. Um, you have the opportunity to bring them. I'll do a few of these. Because I'm doing three, remember? So I'm just using you guys as my... Uh, I'm really working, but I'm sharing my <laughs> my project with you. All right. So I also have this super cute particular little die. I want to create a little window frame here. So I'm going to bring in my big shot. And I'm going to just line this up. And I had that little roll of it. Now we have everybody talking about C's candy. <laughs> I know. It's like my favorite thing in the world. It's like now I want to go get them. You know what's so sad? I actually haven't gotten any. Oh, I know. wait. This is bad. Do you have another one? There somewhere? Um, it's yeah, like old. Yeah, give me one that actually works. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. It's my favorite, especially the ones with nuts. Like, I don't like chocolate really that doesn't have either almonds or i don't like peanuts uh because i break out but everything else i do like like almonds walnuts uh that's my favorite chocolate the chocolate that has some sort of a nutty element Um, and okay, so for today's project, I'm actually going to be stamping this fun cross stitch background directly onto my background as well as I'm going to be using, thank you, thank you, the poop emoji, yes. really. Uh-huh. They're super cute. Oh. All right. <laughs> the kids love it. Yeah. So I'm just going to bring this in here. I'm just gonna run this through just to create a little window. I've got a pretty big shot. It's brand new. Uh, let's see here. What did I say when I was gone? So, so, so cute. Now I got a little window. So what are your favorite C's chocolate, Mr. RG? Ooh, like I said, I love anything that has like nuts in it. I don't like it when... Oh, yeah, so Jen Young says, you love, you, you do love macadamia nuts. Yes, I do love macadamia nuts. I have... Those are your favorite. I devoured those from my sis not that long ago. I was like, mm, those are for me, guys. I know, you weren't even wanting to ship them. You know what's so sad? I think I finished them like in two... Like within two hours, I think. It was like a whole box... I wanted to make sure nobody finished them before I did, so... I know, you didn't share. I didn't share that, yeah. <gasps> Sorry. I feel like... All right, I'm just going to do one more, and then I'll do the other on my own. No worries, guys. I'm not going to keep you here forever. Forever and ever. All righty. So I'm just going to do a couple of these super cute little window. Let me move my big shot out of the way. So I've got my little windows. Now I can come back and do some stamping with my background. I'm going to go ahead and grab my stamp apparatus. And clearly I have not removed the one from the last show. Oh yeah, yeah. That just shows how busy I've been. Guys. You don't understand. You think maybe it's all fine and dandy, but holy, Gabby's playing the violin over there for me. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah RG, yeah. get over yourself. We're all busy. Get to work. Uh -huh. I know, but it's like I literally run from the studio back to my computer for the most part. Um, but again, one of the things I love about the Stamparatus is that it has two different doors. I'm just selling it for, for you guys because, of course, we're trying to help Miss Janet achieve her goal. I've got magnets everywhere. Um, we're trying to help Miss Janet achieve her goal. So any, anything you guys want to contribute, 
will be much appreciated. Now I am going to bring in a part of my grid here because I'm now going to stamp directly onto my sheet. Now I just added some painter's tape to this uh, to help with, you know, holding, holding it down. Uh, but I just want to bring in just some cross stitch in the, um, in some sweet cane ink. Now, if you wanted to, you can mask them. I'm not particularly concerned. So I'm just gonna make sure I've got it set because I'm not gonna, I don't want a very, very hard impression. I just want it to be a light impression so it doesn't look so bland. So I'm gonna come in with that cross stitch. Now I'm using Sweet Cane ink. And if you wanted to, you can actually come back and wipe off the edges. I'm gonna show you something. So I'm gonna come back and wipe off the edges just so that it softens up around I don't necessarily want it all I don't want that that you know straight shape so I'll come in and I'll just give myself a light little brush I'm not even gonna press too hard because again my goal is to get just a light impression see I got a nice little impression around and I don't have those hard lines on the edges either it just looks like a brush brush I'm gonna do that a couple times So again, in case you missed that, I'm gonna ink that up and I'm gonna wipe off the edges because I don't want them to show or I don't want the heart lines. So Ms. Jenna Williams says that she loves that you're doing this for um, Janet. Absolutely. She's like, I need help. I'm like, all right, I'm there. That I can do. So. And again, very light brush all the way around. Super fun, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so we've got that, super adorable. Now let me talk to you guys about this other set that I had talked about earlier that I haven't used, that I want to use, that I kind of messed up my paper here already for it. Uh, do I have another, another arm over there? What do you mean? One of those doors. Oh, yes. I call them doors, but they are called something and as Janet did tell, plates. plates. Um, let me remove my background stamp. So it comes with two plates and the magnetic the magnetic two magnets. Uh, and of course you can, you know, they're hold them, use them to hold your cardstock. The foam is in case you're using polymer stamps like mine, or if you have red rubber, then you can just remove the foam. But this is the set that I was talking about that I haven't used yet. I absolutely love, and it's called Swedish Jala. And it's designed to create your own backgrounds and prints and impressions. So let me quickly show you. I'm not necessarily using this whole bit, but, but I want, oh, I didn't erase it. It's brand, brand new. Quick second, guys. Um, so again, it's polymer stamp, so I just wanna make sure that I get a cleaner impression. I'm gonna use one of them for my project, but not really all of them. But I think it's so adorable, like you can use a little horsey. <laughs> I just think it's so cute. All right, so let's check it out here. Uh, so let's say you're creating a card base and you just want to create your design. Look at, look at, look at what you just look at that. Um, and this is one of the reasons why I love the Stamparatus tool. So you can just kind of play and design and create and build. Let's see here. So many different options. I don't even know what I want. Okay, so let's assume we're gonna start there on this side because 
Then we're gonna let's. I'm just gonna grab this random color. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab sweet cane. And you can just build and 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 build. And of course, you've got your beautiful horses, but now let's say you want a different color. So we're gonna bring this guy in here. And we're gonna bring this guy in here. So you've got endless options. Like you can just keep building and building and building and then switch your colors, right? So let's say we're gonna leave those and we want those in one color. So I'm just choosing random colors. This is rich cherry just because it goes with our demo today. Yeah, pretty. And then you also have fillers. So the fillers can come and continue to build and build and build and build. And so, so forth and so on. And you keep building and you keep building. And you can also switch your doors to the other side. And then you're going to have a whole different side. So you basically have four different palettes. I guess that's what we're going to call them to choose from. Well, I mean palettes oh, like, those, yeah. With the and. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, what are you saying? <laughs> have you lost your marbles? Melinda says she loves this set. I love this set, but I haven't used it yet, so I'm just kind of now playing with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could do a really cool Ooh, background. Let me do this one, actually. Look how cute that's going to be. So yeah, just some fun backgrounds that I love this set for. And you can also come back with your rounds and mix and match and play around. And I tried to put in as many as I possibly could. Oopsie. Oh, do I have the wrong, I have the wrong side here. Operator problems. Do I have it? Have the wrong side here too. Oh my goodness. Uh, so we have several people are joining us. Hi going guys. To know what are we creating today? So, so we were you kind of missed half the show already, guys. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm just kind of showing them how to build with the Swedish Dallas stamp set. And you just create these beautiful, fun backgrounds. And you just keep building and building and building and building. Uh, and you have these beautiful... Now, of course, you can also get one of your RG rounds. And use that to help fill in. So let's assume... And you are creating a gift card. Yeah, we are well. creating a gift card holder. Um, let's see. Annette from, he says, Saludos Oops, del Grupo Zona Scrapera. Hola, Janet. Not Janet, Annette. 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 Uh -huh. Como están? We're very bilingual here. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's like, what's up? Oops. And I'm just giving you guys some ideas. But you know what I'm talking about, right? I'm gonna bring this guy out now. You know, it is kind of cool that we now we get to have our, you know, people that we met in Mexico. Yeah, really join us and right. be with us. So do you guys get the picture, like what it's supposed to do? It's and then of course you can just cut it to size and add your little merry greeting or whatnot. Any <laughs> Um, That's kind of what I wanted to show you. I haven't actually fully on play with this. It's actually the first time I touch it, but I love the Stamper Addis component. Um, for the multiple doors, you can put stamps on the one side, you can put stamps on the other side. I am now stuck to my watch, uh, but it just makes it super fun. So again, if you are interested in any of those, you can contact Miss Doll, or she, I believe she added the link 
Yeah, she added the, the link and she added the code on here for us. Well, Sweet. So. Thank you so much for doing and that. And I do know a lot of them have been asking her, like, you know, how much is the... the Stamparatus. And yeah, the, and don't forget, guys, you also get to participate in the giveaway. So this is what we're working on today. And I had... I am a very messy crafter. Looks like you're a mess over there. I am a hot mess over here, but because I have so many different things going on. But I wanted to teach, show you guys what I was talking about. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in some adhesive here. Because what's so great is you can add a little note in here for you can add a little note, so it's going to show on the one side, which is ultimately what we want. But when they open it, they'll be you'll be able to add a little note there. So, so we Bernice love that. Is asking, can you use more than two doors? Uh, can you use more than two doors? Absolutely. Uh, well, you it has. Them. You can swap them out if okay. that's what you mean. So just real quick, back to that question: is they're they're all uh, movable. So you can use both sides of the door. So let's say you've got something set up where we're gonna come back and we can place them strategically on the other sides of, for example, a stamp set like this one. And you can just swap out, swap out. Especially if you're like teaching a class, that's one of the reasons why I love it the most because you can already have it set up for people to use and you can use both sides. Now the apparatus itself, stamparatus itself, has two hinges uh, and it comes with both doors or um, whatever they're called. All right, so we basically want to leave it open for anybody to write a little message or a little note. Now I'm just going to grab one of my cutie little elements here and just add a little, a little something fun. You know, for my, oh, I love the little, there's the owl, there's the birdie. Let's see, let's just go with this guy here. Just a cute little add-on. And we're using Rich Cherry because that's the color of my belly band here. Just on the inside of that. Super cute. And of course, you're going to place your gift card in here. And then we're going to bring in our belly band. And I'm just going to add a little bit of the tape on the side. Now, you don't want it to be too tight, so I would leave it a little bit open um, just on the side. And I think that's super fun. We're going to go ahead and do both of these guys. Cutie patootie. You have the opportunity to add your sentiment or your saying. And then I had some ribbon. Did I leave it? Maybe you left it it looks like that somewhere. Where, did I leave it in my... And I'm actually going to use, because I think it's the perfect size from Farmer's Market, I'm going to use the With Love sentiment just to stamp my, my little note here. Thank you for um, explaining that about the course. Yeah, it's super cool. I love the tool. So, of course, I'm creating two tags here. So, I'm going to use the. And I've got my ribbon. Somebody went a little ribbon crazy there. Um, and somebody wanted to know what glue gun are you using? Glue gun. This is through Scrapbook Adhesives. Uh, and it's the Easy Runner Grand. 
So a huge shout out to Scrapbook Adhesives for always providing me with adhesive to use for my shows. Super cute one, two. So again, these are great to just have on hand and be ready to share with the, at someone and then you don't even have to seal your envelope. You, they can just basically slide off the little belly band and you can even write a little note on the other side of that powdered sugar piece of cardstock, like thank you or happy holidays or you know, any little note to the recipient. We have another lady that's part of the Zona Scrapera. Hola, como están? Venezuela, so. Venezuela. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué hora son ahorita en Venezuela? ¿Está en Venezuela o nomás es de Venezuela? Pues dice saludos de Venezuela. Oh, so ¿a qué hora son ahorita ya? All right, so we've got a couple of different tags. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my uh, super cute put a little note here. And you can either decide to cut it off. You can decide to go on like a little tag. So Ms. Pat James would like to know what is the status on the rounds? Rounds I'm going to place on the website probably sometime this weekend. So they will just be been... she say, are they going to be available to purchase in January? Or no, no, we'll make them available this month. I just, I need to photograph it where I actually like to photograph because they're not the easiest things to photograph because they're clear. Look how cute with love, my little with love tag. Oh. Um, so yeah, they're not the easiest to photograph, but we will get it done. Part of it is just my OCD, but. So the lady that's in Venezuela, I guess I'm gonna say her name. I think it's Jos Jocelyn. 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 Um, she says it's eight forty-five at night. Oh. A ver, cuando los visitamos allá. And it's what five. Yeah. All right, so super cute, guys. Just a darling little tag. So three hours. And again, they could it could be for a variety of different things. It doesn't even just have to be Christmas. It could be all year long. I absolutely love it. And I think anyone would just like love to receive a little treat like this. So stinking cute. So we're gonna be giving these out guys, uh, preferably with a Starbucks gift card, I hope. Um, we just have to, uh, so for those of you who are sharing this video, we'll enter you to win. Uh, you guys have been receiving your note if you've won in previous uh, shares and giveaways so thanks again for participating and if you'd like your chance to win then simply share this video with your crafty peeps and look how cute these are so you've got a couple of little gift card holders created with the envelope you can simply just slide that out and you write your note on the inside as well as you place your gift card and say what up peeps here's a little something for you and I love it. We have Madeline saying that's a good idea for my neighbors because she wants that's what she wants to give them a gift card. Yeah, it's a great little add-on. You do you add your personal stamp touch to it, and it just makes it so fun. Now, if you wanted to not add the punched out element, you can obviously just leave it bare and add your your sentiment on the outside as well. So either way, I think that you are going to be a winner and people are going to love your gifty so it just makes it super fun to be able to bring those to life and share a little bit of your handcrafted hand stamped inspiration with your loved one so it's always makes it super fun now don't 
miss out on some of the sneak peeks that I'm going to be sharing next week of our new launches that are going to be coming out January 1st, officially January 2nd, um, but we'll definitely be sharing some of those sneak peeks. The website is being revamped. Uh, what's so exciting is we're going to be able to ship internationally starting at the beginning of the year. Um, our club subscribers will be able to join internationally starting at the beginning of the year. That's going to be exciting too. Um, and we have some more sets in Spanish for those of you who are Spanish speaking. Uh, those are going to be also launching right at the beginning of the year. So just amazing stuff. Just crazy, psycho killer, crazy busy. Um, but all good things, all good things. Um, any questions for me, guys? Remember, if you share this video, we're going to enter you to win this particular uh, project that we've shared. And maybe even if you're scared to try it, the Swedish dollar. Because it's such a beautiful set. Uh, we just... I know I haven't done anything with it, but of course it can have a Christmas vibe. It could have a all year round vibe. Just play with it, build it, create it, and make amazing happen. Any questions for me? No questions. We do have some of our audience saying have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry guys. Christmas. So, yeah, and of course I don't think we'll be on. We Christmas. won't be on next week. Um, we are going to do some lives for our CSDs only, but not necessarily live on our channel. But we will be sharing a lot of project shares and inspiration um, throughout the week. Some from us, some from our design team, as well as sneak peeks of what's coming next week. It's all going to be about remembering the year and getting excited for the new one. So I hope you're excited about that. We might do a random live from time to time just to Maybe say a quick hello and... Yeah, with everybody here, we typically like to share our, but it's probably going to happen on my RG Signature page, but we like to share some of the games that we do on Christmas Eve here with the family. It gets pretty intense, um, but you're more than welcome They're to join us virtually. Yeah, so thanks again for joining us, guys. I hope you're inspired by tonight's live. Check out some of those tools that we use. Don't forget to check out Miss Janet's uh, link if you would like to participate in that fun let's help miss janet achieve her goal adventure super excited and thank you to all of those of you who already have jumped in and purchased something through miss janet um, so we can help her achieve and make that goal thanks again for joining us tonight guys remember to continue to create and capture so that we can bring hope to those around us may you all have a blessed and merry christmas buenas noches